Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to show you a very useful trick. It's not going to be an M video, this is going to be a good to know video about Power BI. And I am sure it happens, it has happened to you, it definitely has happened to me and others because I've got questions about it. But you know when sometimes you just save a theme to a Power BI file or added an image and then you can't find the source and say, oh, I would really would like to have that JSON file with the theme or the image back. So I'm going to show you a way to actually recover those files from within Power BI. This is a trick that I show you like in the beginning of the, like a year and a half ago when I started this YouTube channel because the only way to actually delete uh, custom visuals back then it was doing this trick. But we're going to use the same trick applied to this case. Okay, so let's jump into it. So I actually received this question on Kerbal's blog, and this is an image that is uh, asking me where can I get the images for uh, 365, 30, 7, and 1. And you go up, 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 up here. This is how the dashboard looks like, the one that you can download from, from the website. And as you can see, I have some images here and he is wondering, okay, how do I get this out? And I think actually I Photoshopped this. So, um, yeah, the only way to actually get them, I don't have them anymore, is to actually open Power BI file. I have some bad news for you. And let me explain. Uh, there is a way you can actually take this out, but it's not the way perhaps you would uh, think of. But anyhow, I've just downloaded this file and we're trying to look for these images where they are stored in Power BI. So let's do that. Let's go back. Okay, so here I have the Power BI file, the same that is um, on, on, the on the blog, the blog post. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to copy it just to make sure that if we break something, we don't actually break the file because it could actually happen. What we're going to do is we're actually going to unzip the Power BI file and look inside to see what resources are in there. And now this file is very old. I created it, I don't know, it was one of the first files I created in Power BI, perhaps? No, probably not. But anyhow, it's like one and a half year or more old, okay? And um, what we're going to do and this is something that you can do with all Power BI files. You just rename, change the extension, the file extension as a zip extension. That means that you're going to open it up and see the contents of it. Okay, so let's click on it. So, and here we have the bits and pieces that put together a Power BI file. You can look into that in more detail by yourself you are actually on the hunt for pictures. So if I go into report, I would say, okay, they probably are there. And I don't see any pictures here. I can see the custom visuals and we could do that from the beginning. That's why I showed you in the beginning of the YouTube channel how to do this, just because, you know, perhaps you added a custom visual that you didn't want it. And this was a way, the only way to remove the custom visual actually. So I can't find the pictures anywhere which is a bit weird. Maybe somebody here knows where in the old files the pictures are stored. I have no clue. So unfortunately for you, you will have to open the Power BI file, make a print screen and get that icon because I think I made it myself. But on the newest versions of Power BI, let me show you this. We're going to actually delete this. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to open the Power BI file. So here we have it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an image. And we're going to add a theme here. So now we have a custom theme and we have an image. We're going to save this file and close it. Okay. So we close. Now we do the same thing. We copy it so we don't break anything. 
I've never broke any, but just in case. So make sure that when you are opening it up, that you actually make a copy. So you don't come and scream at me and say that I broke your file. So unzip. Yes. Open it up. Okay. And now let's go again to report. And you will see that something happened. There is now a map called static resources. If we open that up, register resources, and then you get the JSON file and the picture. So now that is the way to actually recover those items in case you misplace them somewhere, like I did one time with the JSON file. So you have always access to all the resources that you add. I have no idea what the old pictures went, so it would be great to hear in case you know somebody wants to recover something from an old file. Hmm. I don't know where they go. Um, so now I want to show you something. We are back in Power BI. We're going to open a new page. We're going to add exactly the same image again in a new page. And we're going to save it. I read these in a blog post and unfortunately I didn't keep the link. I'm sorry if you are the author, please let me know and I will link to your blog post because I thought this was something that is worth knowing. Okay. So now we have two pages with the same image. Okay. Now let's see what Power BI does. We close this thing up. We save it. We close it up. We copy. We paste because we are going to open this thing again. And now we do the same thing. We rename this to zip or rename. We change the format to zip. We unzip it. And now let's take a look at the resources that we have. We should, I mean, we loaded the same picture twice. You would think that that picture exists in Power BI how many times? I would have said one time. But the same picture gets stored twice. So when you're actually making your Power BI files beautiful, when you're designing them, like, you know, making the graphical appearance of it, you have to be aware of this because if you have like high quality images and you're putting one background on all the pages and you have a lot of pages, you will have a lot of files and you know, it, it will make your file very, very, very big, giving you issues. Okay. It happened to me once and I was really happy to find that blog post. Sorry that I don't have the link. I will try to find it again before I publish the video. But if I don't and you are the owner, please contact me anywhere on Twitter or here and, and I will post the link. So uh, yeah, hopefully this is useful for you. It's definitely been useful for me. Okay, so this is actually all for today. I hope you enjoyed the trick. If you did, let me know by liking the video or by sharing it with others. That would be great. Comments, questions, suggestions, as always, comment box or the social channels listed below. And make sure to subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, where Friday is dedicated to DAX. And then I have uh, Monday to M sometimes and then Wednesday, all kinds of smorgos videos. Uh, make sure to click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. Okay, you need to do that because YouTube won't do it anymore for you. So uh, this is it for today. Have a great evening. Bye.